All right, so let's suppose we are the spectator to say stop. Okay. Just remember the card. And I don't know which one is it. It doesn't matter, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, one of the easiest ways to train a playing card is by snapping the fingers. All right. I didn't even realize how easy it is, but let's see if it works. What was your card? Did I say the eight of spades? I'm assuming it works. All right, so let's try it once again, just to make sure it's not coincidence. Well, the uh, eight of clubs. Uh, um, and I, I know I'm not supposed to watch it, but uh, at least for the demonstration purposes. I'm gonna put it in the middle. Okay, and I'm gonna lost it. So let's see if it works by the same method. All right, by snapping the fingers. Yes, it works. So now let's find out the secret. Okay, so for a tutorial, uh, there are two steps you need to follow. Uh, one of the steps is the get ready, or the setup, which is uh, in jogging the selection, not even half of an inch, okay? Make sure it doesn't go any further than that, o otherwise it's gonna get uh, more angle sensitive, and you have to to get into the third finger break and this is pretty much the the first step which is the get ready and as you notice in the front it's still closed only in the back it is open and pretty much this card the selection is independent from the, the bottom half so it doesn't disturb the direction and the shooting action and the third finger should be able by stretching it to shoot the card, okay? Now, um, shooting the card is the second step. Uh, you know, there are actually several ways that you can get into this uh, get ready setup. In the performance, I did it in two different ways. The first way, you need a, actually a good condition deck of playing cards, all right? I show it in the front, all right? And the pinky is just a little tiny one. From here, I try to keep the pressure between the, the middle finger and the thumb. So it's not gonna open over here. Or you minimize any movement. You don't need to be straight up as I did it in the performance. You can stay in angle a little bit because actually this is gonna be a little bit of struggling. Uh, you can get into a resting position uh, with the hands laying down if you want to, if not you can keep the deck straight, move the forefinger close to the middle finger and then bring it back, and that's, that's how you do it, you see with the forefinger I in jog the selection a little bit and replace the pinky break for a third finger break, the middle finger is still doing pressure with the thumb to minimize any separation and sometimes the car is gonna get like that so it's gonna be up to you you wanna relax and speak while you're struggling in jogging the selection and the middle finger because it's in the middle of the way is gonna help the car to spin okay so the more the selection is spin it's gonna suspend the car in the air which is gonna be better okay now that was the first way. The second way I did it in a performance was this other way. My, um, notice I had the selection right before I put it all the way into the deck. I push it a little harder, not too much, so you can get the selection in job. But in the, the other hand, pretending you are squaring. And all I'm actually doing is lifting the, the selection separating it from the back, not from the front, just doing the third finger break right away. You can get into shooting the car out. So that's the basic overview uh, of the um, twist steps you need to do just to have the third finger break. And that's gonna help you to shoot the car out. Now, you can actually shoot it really far away from the other hand. And uh, you have to measure the pressure so the car doesn't really go 
too far away from you. Just keep it decent, as you see in the performance. But as you notice also in the performance, uh, you may notice the absence of this second and fourth finger, I mean third and fourth finger uh, from the deck. So if you want, uh, you can stay relaxed while you're speaking, as you notice in the performance as well. And the reason is because I don't have, I only had the pinky break when I show the selection. Make sure the pinky is already down here. Don't bring it down here uh, later because you have, you have the pinky over here on top. You show the deck and then bring it down and uh, it's not as good as if you already have down here. Let me show you. Let's say I have the pinky right in the side in this edge. Show five diamonds. Open just a little bit. Okay, I have a little tiny pinky break right here in the back. And then I'm gonna, while I'm speaking, I keep pushing, making pressure with the middle and thumb. So I only open the back or the deck. Then move the forefinger closer to the middle finger and keep pushing the, the selection uh, towards me. Now, again, not too much because you don't want it to be too angle sensitive. You can stay like that if you want while you are speaking about training, playing cards, or who knows, any reason you want to give. And then you're switching pinky break for a third finger break. And if you want to go ahead and practice the, the shooting instead of doing the, the, the break, you may practice those two steps independent from each other so until you really get uh, familiar to both steps but uh, uh, you need a good condition but not necessarily brand new but at least a good condition um, for our first demonstration purposes which is this because if you want to inject the selection uh, you need a brand new if you want to do this other second way Maybe you don't need a brand new, uh, but it's gonna be much better to have a good condition, a deck of playing cards. So one last time very quickly. We're showing the selection. Doing a little pinky break right there. Try to push it a little harder to open it. While at the same time, you need to make pressure with the middle finger and the thumb. It doesn't open in the front, okay? Once you open it, notice the forefinger is moving to the front and then to the back a couple times. Uh, make sure it doesn't go to the side yet, otherwise that's gonna be an extra issue, you know? So once you have it over here with a pinky break, replace it with a third finger break, notice the back, Notice the front. And that's it. Just practice the shooting. Just shooting the, the card is quite easy. As long as the selection is not touching the bottom half. Okay. Now, if you still have any issues shooting the middle card, well, you may shoot the bottom card as well. You may put it in the middle and do any other control to bring it to the bottom. Uh, still, you want the card to stay away from the, this part of the, the, the finger, the hand, down here, under the index finger. And with a third finger at the bottom, and you still have to shoot it out. Okay. You may practice it, but I find out to be much better practicing just shooting the card in the middle, because actually the hand is going to disturb a shooting as well. If you compare that uh, with, a, with a car in the middle, with a car at the bottom, uh, to me it's much easier to shoot the car in the middle. Just like that. So right there you have two choices of shooting the car out, which one of the most subtle ways to do it is the first way I did it in a performance over the second one.